Hello everyone, welcome to 30 minutes learning. Today we are going to see how to use Apex chart in OpenUI 5. Actually this is third video for charts in OpenUI 5. I already created two videos based on open sources. Um, it's called uh, ECPy and uh, chart.js libraries. I show you that output for this one. So, um, this is chart.js library output and ecpy chart output in this video we're going to discuss this apex chart okay let's go to web and create a new project click new and um, create the project from template select that sap ufa application this project name apex Chart and the namespace dev. Click next and view one. It's okay and finish. So in this apex chart, they give the documentation how to use this different type of charts. I will explain you how to use this documentation click the document then it will navigate to this screen here we're going to use that CDN so just take this script and uh, expand our project inside the index.html just paste that CDN okay so next installation is completed then basic chart so create basic chart so we need one development so go to view click that view one dot xml inside content we need to make a um, html element so for this i'm going to add code namespace xml ns code sap.ua.code so this code html after rendering on render apex it's a event it acts at a uh, event we need to create our own function in controller so next content so in this content we can write html div tag so just write div slash div then ID called uh, chart. So, if you write this code, it's uh, similarly then you get that error because we come to use directly this HTML tags. We need to convert HTML entity. So instead of this less than symbol, we are going to use ambrosian lt semicolon. Like we need to convert less than, greater than and uh, double quotes. So this is a greater than. So g less than and greater than g next double quotes ambrosian QOT semicolon then one more double quotes okay we finished so we created a development inside of our content so next we're going to add one more function in controller 
just open that controller JS then create a new function so inside the function we need to write our code so I will explain you what this code just copy and paste it here see it's just uh, one variable they are assigning so in this variable three objects they have one is chart and series and axis so this option having that chart type this is a line type chart we are going to create initially and uh, series so label name and the data and the x axis what's the um, x axis column it will go into display in the bottom okay so how we know how to use these options for different type of chart if you look at this document in that bottom you see this option reference so here they give it all information chart and the series and the x-axis series and the x-axis everything they clearly explain in this documentation okay now we have a chart just on our application that's all for uh, this rendering click run So actually this apex chart given you can download that SVG or uh, PNG file this charts Initial it will take a little uh, bit of time because CD need, need to load. Okay, here we go. Now we created our first chart. So, first we're going to check our index HTML. We're going to change our resources for open UI file. So, for this, HTTPS double search open ufi dot honor dot on demand dot com slash resources dot sap ufi code so now if you see in this project it's loaded ufi based uh, resources so you can check control shift P sorry control alt shift P if you click then you can see the source related information here so this is UFI versions we loading just save and uh, rerun that app okay now also it's working so open a5 now it's loading all uh, components it's uh, taken from open a5 not from SAP UFI so we can create open UFI with charts just expand that menu here they give that option for downloading SVG PNG or CSV formats so I just try that PNG it's downloaded file just open here this chart it will show clearly okay 
now just go to next uh, type of charts expand the chart type and now we're going to check um, pie chart one okay so that option only it will it will bit change no x-axis just a series and a label it's enough for a pie chart so go to the body and uh, remove this option change the type to pie so we can give that pie or donut first we check that pie then we check donut okay pie chart it's working next we check donut perfect it's working everything so then they give a different type of charts red or and bar and range bar it will look that output like this and uh, area charts it will look like this okay guys um today i will explain uh, how to use that apex chart in open afi so that's all for this video if you want to tell anything about this video please write in, in down in the comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel and make sure to click bell icon and turn on the notification for my future videos thank you bye